Hey everyone, welcome back. Dan Shields, Church Guitarist here. It's good to be together today. Um, hey, I'm going to take you through a... Um, last night I watched a movie, it was called Into the Wild, and had some really cool um, finger-picking stuff on it. And uh, one, of the, one of the things stuck out to me, and I didn't figure it out while I was watching it, so it might not be exact, but it's pretty close to what... Um, what I'm going to do here, but it was a really beautiful little uh, pattern. Um, basically, the guy was going from like a C major down to an E minor to an A minor, and then I think it was an F to an F minor. Actually, I don't know what key it was in because I don't have perfect pitch, but it sounded like it was somewhere around there for me, but I could hear what the the basic chords were. So I, I just picked up my guitar this morning and uh, and went through this and I thought it might be helpful. Uh, what they did though, what the person on the recording did was a basic Travis picking pattern. Um, now, if you don't know Travis picking, basically it's um, it's this thumb on one, two, three, four, and sometimes it's a pattern sort of like that that you'll hear guys play. It's a very important pattern. You've heard it uh, in lots and lots of different music. This one was like a fast little pattern, uh, and it was all high triads, and it went something like this. All right. Now... You know, it sounds pretty easy, but actually that's sort of stuff like when I get into the studio, uh, if I have to play a solo or something, it's not, uh, you know, uh, you have to be careful with those things. But these simple parts sometimes are really hard because they it's hard to make them super clean. Uh, and even that you heard I didn't play perfectly clean. Um, but let me walk you through the ideas of, of what this thing is, first of all. All right, so let me just take you through chord by chord first. So I'm going to do a little C triad. I know sometimes it's hard to see these, so C, E, G, C. And then I'm going to do like a little E minor chord. So if you picture this E minor chord, but I'm going to just do top four strings. So I'm going to do B, E, G, B. And then I'm going to go down to a little A minor chord. So if you picture the big A minor, and I'm going to just do the top four like Stairway to Heaven. Um, and then to an F chord, it's going to be like the C shape of the F chord, but I'm going to just do A, C, F, A. And then I'm going to go to F minor, which is A flat, C, F, A flat. All right, so that's my basic pattern. It's a really lovely sound. All right, so now I'm going to do the Travis picking part, and it's really not even a true Travis picking, but it's like Travis picking. So I'm going to do this basically. Thumb, first, thumb, second. So this is my basic pattern. And again, the reason we call it Travis is one, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four and you can think of it as quarter notes then. All right, once you get that pattern down then, you have to switch between each of these chords, which again is hard because you're picking so fast, you don't have any breath between them, uh, and you don't want to, um, you don't want to have like a gap between them. Now, hey, this is an important thing. If you're playing in any sort of live situation, studio situation, whatever, if you have to, if you're playing a strum, and you can't get to the chord fast enough, let's say you, you couldn't get to, don't want to do is leave off the one of the next chord. You're much better off leaving off the four of the chord you're on. So it's much better to sound like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. On recordings, because people hear that downbeat of one and they want the information on one, if, if it's a pattern that has that. Um, so you're much better off if you're doing this picking pattern. One, two, three, four. If you can't get to that fast, you're, you're better off one, two, three, four, one, two, and getting this solid rather than, uh, you know, don't, don't worry about uh, missing the end of that last one. All right, we're going to try to get all these notes in there. We'll see how this goes. So we're going to do like this. One, two, three, four, down to the E minor. One, two, three, four, down to the A minor. One, two, three, F, two, three, four. All right, we're going to take it up to 
tempo. Three. So. So that's the basic pattern. Now I'm gonna do one more thing because uh, as I was doing it this morning, my son um, who plays some bass, he's younger, um, I said, hey, let's let's figure out the bass parts on this, all right? So I'm gonna sort of walk through uh, how I did the bass line with him because this is something that might be important for you down the road if we're doing a progression like this. All right, the first and easiest thing to do, of course, is you just figure out what the chords are and play the root notes. Um, so I'm gonna play a loop here that I pre-recorded uh, and I'll show you the root notes. So we're going to do C, E, A, F. Okay, those are the basic root notes. So here we go. Three, four. All right, now. That sounds great, so totally cool with that. Um, but if you notice when I'm playing these, what, what makes this of interest to me is I've got this um, chromatic line going down. Uh, doesn't go to here, but straight down to the A, and then down to A flat. So this to me, is very interesting sounding. So I'm gonna play just that, but I'll play it from here. Okay, now to make this a little bit more interesting, um, so I'm going to do a combination of these. So if I did this for my C note, and then if I did down to the B note, and then to the open E, because this is this is the chromatic part, and that's the actual root note of the thing. So I'm going to take it like this. Sorry, I jumped that early. Okay, now the next part, I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to go down to the F note and up to the A note, okay? Because that's the root note and then up to the, the third. So here we go. I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. So I started this way. On the A, I'm going to do a little run. I'm going to do like this. Okay. Uh, and then... Okay, here we go. Then the last step on this, incidentally, I can't hear my uh, the loop very well. It's a little bit too low, so I'm having trouble hearing timing on that. So if I'm off, forgive me. Um, but I'm going to do the exact same pattern then. But once I get to hear, since I can do this for my root note, and I can go up to that A flat, I'm going to do the exact same pattern. that is.
Well, hopefully that uh, that gives you a couple of ideas to practice um, some, you know, nice little uh, finger picking progression. Um, and, you know, getting that like thumb especially consistent is probably the key to this whole thing. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, God bless.